Hi everyone, Scott here with an Aperture Experience for you. This is my uh, first uh, video with me recording my voice and trying to do this quote-unquote live. Hopefully uh, there won't be too many bumps and um, you'll enjoy this. I wanted to share a pretty cool tip that I came across here while working on the photo we have in front of us. So this is uh, obviously a sunset. Uh, it's at Davenport Beach in Northern California and really liked the picture overall. Uh, with the exception of a bit of the lens flare. So um, you know, the sun's going down here, I've got some lens flare and some streaming lines going through here. I like all that, but as the flare cascaded out and went across some of the rocks, these patches are really just distracting. Uh, cloning these out would be quite difficult because of all the texture that's in the rocks and it would just start to look unnatural. But using a color adjustment, we can get rid of these spots quite nicely. All right, so we've got our HUD open and a color adjustment brick. And let's start with this yellowish flare here. So I'll select my yellow square, grab my dropper, and kind of scan around here. We've got the 30-ish to 40-ish range. Select that, and I'll leave the range alone for now, but the first thing I'll do is bring down the saturation. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm really only looking at this spot here. I know this is impacting the entire image a whole lot, but I'm just looking at that lens flare spot. I'm kind of bringing that down really far, really desaturating just about everything there. That's looking a lot better. Um, I might even desaturate that just a bit more like that. Now, the second step, of course, is just to brush it in where we want it. So grab our brush, and then just kind of paint right over that area. All right, that's looking pretty good. Um, still a little bit detectable. I might be able to try another, uh, another color range. Let's take a peek. Yeah, there's a little, maybe some reds in there and some oranges. Let's try the same thing there. Now, I don't have to do the repaint because my brush has already been done. That's looking a little better. And I can repeat the same process for these other flares that kind of go in through this area. Okay. So I've repeated that process for the other flares that were here. You can see I ended up doing a little more tweaking with the yellow and played around more with that red range, actually increased the red range there and, and brought that saturation down. Um, so you can see where I ended up painting. It's really just those few little spots where I had flare, so just all along this little region here, so it's the only spots that were affected. And you can see the before and after effect is quite nice. So and here's the final image, you know, here's taking away that adjustment, those flares are there, using just a simple color adjustment, a couple of seconds, and they're gone. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you did, please leave a comment or uh, just come back and visit again for the next tip. Thanks very much.